another beautiful day obviously great news that park runs coming back so mid-june in the uk hopefully all the park runs will be open so i'm going to give you some training sessions that are going to make you quicker because we're all probably lacking a little bit of speed work so if you're like me doing the 80 20 um, you need to fine tune yourself obviously when you start getting these races or park run same thing isn't it it's near race um, so you need to start adding some intervals that will make you quicker on your 5k so i've got two for you the first one which i'm actually doing tonight is 2k repeats and you're going to be doing that four times with two minutes recovery so what sort of paces do you be running them at well you want to be running faster than your 5k so obviously to get quicker on your 5k when you're doing intervals so you can be running that your 5k pace minus 10 seconds per kilometer and obviously when you start it if you do find it difficult with the two minutes recovery then try you know three minutes and then adjust it from there the other session which i've mentioned before which is one of my favorites which is 1k repeats but it's three 1ks times two so let me explain so the first k you're going to be running at your 5k pace plus 10 seconds and then recovery is going to be about two, 200 meter walk and then the next 5k sorry the next 1k is going to be at your 5k pace then you're going to do your 200 walk and then your last 1k is going to be at your 5k pace minus 10 seconds per kilometer so after that you're going to repeat again so you're going to do your 1k at 5k pace plus 10 seconds then the next one's going to be at your 5k pace and then your last one's going to be the 1k with minus 10 seconds off your 5k pace hope that makes sense but it's a brutal session but definitely well worth it because uh, we want to be ready for park run so let me know how your training's going um, in regards to intervals um, you know if you want any more tips then you know just drop me a message I'm quite happy to kind of help out but you know the nearer we come to races we just need to fine-tune ourselves you know don't just go jumping straight into intervals um, as I said before you know you need to start off with maybe a tempo run then work that into a threshold run um, and then work into the intervals because if you jump straight into intervals um, it's just gonna end in disaster you're just gonna end up you know injuring yourself so right so I'm gonna finish my run home um, this can actually be a, a double day for me today because uh, I've done the video this morning which is a couple of miles to the park and then this evening uh, we're going to be at the track I don't know we or us we're, yeah we go with that um, but before that obviously I need to go on the dog walk so I'll speak to you then right, you say hello to everyone right so everyone knows Molly don't they a little cutie and then we've got Coco you're gonna say hello to the camera Coco you're gonna say hello bit shy you're not shy moles are you look at those eyelashes right come on, let's finish off the walk So it's time to go to the track, about 20 minutes from where I live. Always get excited when I go to the track because it brings back so many memories of when I used to run as a teenager. I remember going there on a Tuesday and a Thursday over at Welling Garden City Stadium, have slush puppies afterwards, and it was just a good laugh. So that, that's one of the reasons I like the track. Um, obviously, everyone likes a bit of speed, don't they? Well, maybe not everyone. So just back home from the track session, um, got a little bit carried away tonight. Um, James, who's a lot quicker than me, asked if I wanted to uh, join in the session with him. He was doing six 
one k's at three thirty pace with two hundred jog recovery. And I thought to myself, well, I did five last week with a hundred walk recovery, and obviously didn't look into you know how long the recovery is when you jog it. So last week I did five one k's at 3.30 average with 100 watt recovery. But just looking at the stats on my uh, Garmin, it was two, between 2.40 and 2.50 minutes recovery. And so today's session uh, started off at 3.30, but the actual recovery is just literally just over a minute. So I think it was a minute seven. And so the 3.30, then the next one struggled a bit, 3.36, then the lactic in my arm was building up because they were just feeling heavy and a bit tingly. So then I went 3.43 and then I think it was about 3.50 and I just called the session because I just got a bit carried away. You know, I'm not in that sort of shape at the moment. You know, he's a fantastic runner. Um, you know, I thought I could do it, but just underestimated the recovery. You know, 200 jog recovery I thought would be a couple of minutes, but no, it's just over a minute. So lesson learned. Um, I say I only managed four out of the six. Um, at the time, when I left the trap, I was a bit disappointed. But then I've looked back at the actual stats, and you know it wasn't that bad. You know I'm not in that sort of shape to run six one k's at three thirty with a you know two hundred meter jog recovery. So lesson learned. Let's roll on tomorrow and onwards and upwards. And I'll speak to you then. Cheers. <laughs>